What's up? So today's the Denver pop-up. It's Sunday. I am, look, the house is kind of straight. I felt like straight up shit yesterday. You know when you you don't feel good and you read WebMD and then all of a sudden you just, you kind of just, I don't know, you feel like you read a couple of things and then you just, you know you're gonna die. Basically how I felt yesterday. I'm okay, I'm still here on Earth today, so thumbs up for that. All right, so yeah, I'm running late for my own pop-up, so I gotta go. It is already, it's 10:45. I gotta go. Some people slept out there like for two since 2 a.m. I don't know if that was necessary, but love you for doing it. And um, that's it. Let's go. One pair of the women's and two pairs of the men's because Adam and I were being nosy and looking at the walk. But you're missing a pair of men's. Yeah, but in all fairness, I haven't been through everything. Watching a vlog and he was you complaining about not having a power cord. And I was like, wait, hold on, pause. Screenshot. Apple power cord. And he like goes right over it in a pile of shoes. Pizza. <laughs> we got pizza for the pop-up. And then we got pizza <laughs> for the rest of the week for the pop-up. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, man. Where's your boy at? He went to fucking Warp Tour, man. I know. I was like, I was like, dude. Is he a 14 year old girl? That's what I asked him. I was like, <laughs> Straight from Denver. Yeah. Cause Denver just straight Broncos. Straight Broncos. Plus, because orange and blue is like the worst two colors. Broncos or Cowboys? Because there's a lot of Cowboy fans out here too, believe it or not. Hey, Me too. I'm running Cowboys fans off the road. Good morning. Well, it's kind of the afternoon. Well, it's not technically the afternoon. I learned last week. For the first, it's actually 10 30. It's definitely morning. But yeah, I always say 11 is afternoon. And I guess afternoon is actually afternoon. Denver pop up was yesterday. Shout out to everyone that came through. Denver was definitely more low key than any other pop up. But Denver is also just low key. Like, not a huge sneaker scene here. A lot of people are, think they're into shoes, but they're really not. There's really no stores. I get that question all the time. Like, where do you cop in Denver? Where do you? There, there's really not much. There's a couple little resale stores which you know not really you know and then there's bait which just opened which has a consortium account so I, they do get some stuff I've never even been there Should probably go there soon but that's really about it man there's really not much and then there's regular finish line footlocker yada 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 really don't ever have much they're starting to get more ultra boost here and there not a ton yeah that's it there's nothing else the internet but yeah but shout out to Denver for showing love really trying to help uh, change that fact about Denver and the first pop-up in my eyes is a great success. So we're on our way, Denver, don't worry. Before you know it, we'll get ourselves an Adidas store. Out here trying anyway. Today is going to be a very mellow, well, it won't be mellow, but there won't be much vlogging going on. I was kind of sick on Saturday. I really didn't feel good. I, was, I think I'm just exhausted. I know some people will say I shouldn't be because I went to Mexico, but going to Mexico is just as exhausting, I feel like. Um, so Saturday, I kind of had to chill. I straightened this out a little bit. My sneaker room is just even more in shambles than ever. It's just ridiculous. So today I'm going to at least try to get all the boxes organized in their own respective color-coded space at least and maybe get these couches somewhere and just Make this room at least look like you can walk in it. Hopefully, I'm making myself do it. 
I'm making myself stay here and do this. Yeah, I don't really know as far as shoes go. I have a couple of things coming in the mail this week. The first shoe they ever put Boost on ever is on, is on the way. I honestly don't know why it's not here yet because it left, it should have been shipped a long time ago. I have that coming. I have the Chinese New Year 1.0s coming. There's really not much coming out uh, that I can think of that I'm looking forward to either. So we might get a little break, just fine, because I can go make some money. Um, and then the rest of the day also I have to figure out, I have to set up this email because I'm going to start taking tattoo appointments again uh, at the shop, probably starting either next week or right after Dallas, I'm not really sure. And then I also have to figure out how to get Omar here. So Omar is on his way, he hasn't left yet, he's being driven from Florida. So I've got to make sure everything's ready for him, uh, coordinate with the schedulers, make sure I'm available the day he gets here. Just a lot of like really not vlog worthy stuff. Also at the pop-up, I totally forgot. First time I've ever forgotten this, but I didn't have a filmer. I didn't have anyone, I didn't even like, it didn't even dawn on me to have someone else carry the camera around all day. So the footage from the pop-up might be a little weird uh, compared to normal, but, um, but there's plenty of, you, you get the idea. People that are asking about merch, the Colorado stuff will actually go online because we definitely overproduce for Colorado. So the Colorado stuff will drop online. We're also restocking Godzilla shirts. And there's also soon going to be a mystery bag option. We have a lot of random stuff from pop-ups, conventions, drops, just like random sizes, returns, whatever. So we're going to do a mystery bag. Uh, the price would be $20 and you could get anything any, you just put in your size and we're just gonna send you something. Uh, you could get a t-shirt, you could get a sweatshirt, you could get, you don't know, it's 20 bucks though. You can get multiple mystery bags if you want. Um, hopefully you guys end up with what you want, but it's definitely cool stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we have left. Um, it's just such random sizes, it doesn't make sense to just restock it. But that's what's happening, that's what's going on, and yeah, that's it. So. Oh, if you haven't seen the new Kai Somar video where he makes fun of everybody, it's great. I think it's amazing. And my dog's not named after Kais. It's Omar from The Wire. There you go. All right. I'm going to go clean up this fucking room. Peace. I don't even know why I just looked in that box. Crazy. Well, there they are. My beat up Woodwoods are found. Andrew didn't steal them. Everybody who blamed Andrew in the comments, owe him an apology. They're right here. Where's the other? Well, fuck, but now where's the other? Well, now I have no idea where the other ADO is. Take a break. I'm taking another break. What do you know about an Adidas slap bracelet? The shoes are all in one spot. Water shoes are right there. Everything else has been at least organized in somewhat of a less um, panic, anxiety, attack inducing fashion. I still have no idea where some stuff is. Hopefully things are just mixed up in those boxes there. How oh, serious, that took, what time is it now? Yeah, it's, it's 2.30. That took a minute. All right, now I'm gonna get some lunch. Okay, so I just got an appointment for getting my hair cut. So I gotta go get my hair cut. It has been forever. People keep asking me if I'm growing my hair back out. Absolutely not. It's gonna stay shaved probably forever. Beard's probably gonna stay. I have no plans to cut it. Just a little FYI in case you care. I run down here, get my hair cut. Still haven't eaten because I'm being irresponsible, but I should go eat. So haircut, food, back here, more organizing. Fun day, real fun day. All right. Progress, 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 progress. Okay, so today we're not gonna look at any shoes because a lot of people have been asking me since I bought both was to compare the Fitbit Blaze versus the Apple Watch. So the Fitbit is somewhere. So this is the Fitbit Blaze. Oh, it's about to die. It's been on for like five, six days though. Um, so this is about to die, but that's what this looks like. It gives you all these today, your exercise, what does I say? Fit star, relax, 
timer, um, alarms, and then settings. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Like the Fitbit Blaze. So I'm not gonna go into some. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna give you this technical review. Like the Fitbit Blaze. The Fitbit Blaze will. Blah, 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 blah. The Fitbit Blaze is the most amazing device that's ever been invented. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't know all the technical stuff, but I don't know any of that shit. So but I do know how it feels when you use it. So I mean cons to the Fitbit Blaze are the size of it, this gap in here in the housing is just kind of silly, it makes it like super bulky, it just looks bad I think. Uh, these straps are awful, but they're also just like the regular whatever straps. You could definitely uh, get different ones, you can change those out, so it's really like kind of a mild complaint. It's um, yeah, mostly like cosmetic, what I don't like about it. I do like all of the features that it has. Basically with this, it, like trying to track your fitness and you're trying to try, like really just pay attention to uh, the fitness side of things this is most definitely the device that I would suggest you go with if that's all that interests you um, because it's super it's it's great the battery lasts for days like a week it seems like the things online say three days but this thing's lasted a lot longer than three days granted I haven't been using it for like the whole time it's just been laying around but it seems to last longer um, but it's great it's great for tracking sleep steps all that jazz um, and I think it's it's a cool little watch you know it's a cool little watch for sure um, and then the price point you know is around $200 so you know more affordable I would say than the Apple watch so if you're just looking to basically go to the gym uh, try to be a little healthier you want to make sure that you move around a little bit this is this is a great option I think Fitbit Blaze is cool I don't have any real problems with it until I tried the Apple Watch. <laughs> so my curiosity got me and then I got the Apple Watch and then I got hooked up. It's a little bit of a discount, which made me just go for it. Um, I know there's like different models. This is the, I believe this is the titanium one. Yeah. I don't even know what I buy half the time. I'm just surprised it. Oh, stainless steel. This is the 42 millimeter space black stainless steel Milanese, Milanese loop. Space black stainless steel. That's what I got. Um, but this little bad boy is, at first I didn't like, I didn't think I was gonna like it because one, the battery life was, was you know, rumored or whatever, suggested that it's lower. But this little jammy is pretty awesome, I have to admit. I never in my life thought I would get an Apple Watch. One, first thing is that the battery lasts a lot longer than people say. I've been able to wear it for two days straight and it doesn't die on battery and it's still got like 15% left when I charge it. It doesn't necessarily like, track your sleep the same. That's the one benefit to the Blaze is that it tells you exactly how much you slept in the app unless I'm missing something, which I probably am because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know everything about this watch yet. I'm sure I haven't even, sure I haven't even gotten to the tip of the iceberg. Um, this is, feels more comfortable on your arm. I will say that this like, this band that I got, it pinched all the hair out of my wrist at first and it was really uncomfortable, but after like a couple of hours it was fine. But yeah, this band is adjustable. It's a cool little band. You can buy these aftermarket too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a nice little band that's adjustable, goes around my wrist just fine. This has all the fitness stuff and then more, it tracks different things like the red is your steps, the blue is the standing, um, and then the green is your workout for the day and then it gives you how many minutes, you know, or whatever, whatever it is, not minutes, but your time. As expected with an Apple Watch, I mean, you can just do anything you want on it. It's like literally your entire phone almost here. You can play music, you can do maps, you can make phone calls, you can text. The text is actually really awesome. That's probably been the most useful thing for me is I can just like respond, I get so many texts today, I can just respond to texts on the fly. Some of the other apps don't really like, like Twitter, I can't really use on it. Um, but it is great for like checking your email real quick, uh, sending a text, sending an email, stuff like it's it's great. Answering a phone call when you like have shit in your hands, it's perfect. So yeah, I actually do really like the Apple Watch. The price point on it is crazy, you know? I mean, like it's an Apple product, so it's expensive. I know that there's like lower level ones. I, I don't know, I assume they're the same uh, inside, I don't know. This, you know, is like a seven, $800 watch, electronic, whatever you want to call it. So it's not cheap, not something you just like, you know, every day go and pick up. So, you know, I don't know if I would suggest like absolutely, you know, oh, you gotta get one of these, I mean, you gotta get yourself an Apple Watch. If you're the type of person that wants to do all of the fitness stuff and also have the power of your phone and communication and maps and ordering food and your Uber and just being like a tech savvy, almost a robot, 
this is pretty perfect, which I have no problem with. Like, I feel like we're gonna be part robot one day. Yeah, I think this is like really awesome. I think this is a great little thing. If you have other, I mean, I have so many Apple products, so like everything syncs really well. And it's actually just pretty useful. Like, I didn't really think that it would be that useful. I thought that I was, honestly, when I bought this, I thought I was gonna return it. I thought the first day, I was like, yeah, I don't really need this. But it's starting to grow on me, and I don't even like to wear watches. So, my vote is both. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the blaze yet. I may even just keep it and use it sometimes. I'm not really sure. Probably not though. Like, I like the sleep thing, but at the same time, like, I'm sure there's a sleep thing on here that I'm not paying attention to. I can also figure out how long I didn't have my Apple Watch on, so I take it off at night, so it's, it's whatever. If you have the money and you really like all the extra features that are gonna be useful for you, I think the Apple Watch is definitely, like, a really good purchase, and you'll probably love it. If you're just, trying to be healthier and you're just trying to track some fitness stuff or if you're not even you know you're just trying to keep an eye on things your heart rate um, you can even enter how much food and water you drink into this bad boy uh, this is definitely the way to go it's just it's cheaper and it does functionally it does a lot of the same stuff the apple watch does this is just more like a computer and this is just more like a tracker that's the best way for me to put it i don't know if that helped i'm not an electronics review person nor do i strive to be but i do like i do like to give you guys my thoughts on the shit that i buy so that's my thoughts on the shit i buy so apple watch versus blaze there's really no clear answer the answer is both see you tomorrow